Okay, hello everybody. Um, so we're gonna download the SAP GUI for Mac today. Um, so the first thing you wanna go, uh, you, the first thing you wanna do is to go on this website, worker.cob.csuchico.edu. So this has all the links and instructions. Um, so you wanna click the Mac button here and then go to instructions and download. That's the first link. Uh, okay, now the first thing we're gonna do is download the JDK 11 from the Oracle website. Uh, let's open that new tab. And once Oracle's website is open, you want to click Mac OS and then do that X64 DMG installer. So when you do that, you have to accept their uh, license agreement and then you have to log into your Oracle account. So if you don't have an account, you have to create one. And so I'll just show you what that looks like. Um, for create account, you have to fill in all these fields, um, make sure you have a good password. Uh, and you'll get an email to verify your account before you can download anything. So wh whatever email you enter in, you will get an email there. You have to verify your account first. There's gonna be a link in the email that you can use. Okay, so once you've made your account, you'll have your username and password. Just enter those and sign into Oracle. Okay, okay. And once it works, so it might be a, there won't be any screen that confirms that it works. You'll, the download will just pop up. So once that happens, uh, you wanna save your download and your downloads, just make sure it's JDK 11 and for OS X, X64 and should be a DMG file. So uh, what I told, I told you to use the DMG installer earlier. So you wanna make sure you have that installer because that's what'll work on a Mac. Okay, and once it downloads, you just want to click that download. Um, so Apple's going to verify. It probably won't let you open it first. First, it's going to verify anything, everything. And then this package is going to uh, show up. So it's going to be a file, uh, and that's a DMG file. And then there's going to be a package inside of it. So you want to double click that, and it's going to guide you through the installation process. So you just you just have to hit continue, and it it might ask you for your computer password. So you have to enter that to verify the download and it'll just do everything for you. Okay. And once it's installed, you can hit close and move the installer to the trash. You know, you can clear up your space that way. Okay. So now just to verify, we have Java installed, the JDK 11 from Oracle's website that's installed. So um, our step one is complete here. Uh, and then we can go to step two. So step two, three, and four, I already guided you through this. And now on step four, now we have to download the, the SAP GUI jar file for Mac. So you wanna click this link, start a new tab. And so that'll download directly. You don't have to log in or anything, which is nice. Again, save to your downloads. This is quite a big file. So you have to wait about a minute for this to install. Okay, now that it's downloaded, um, you want to click the download. And yeah, so what the first thing I'll say is that you can't open it because from an unidentified developer. So it's, it's totally safe to download, first of all. So you just want to hit okay. To get past that screen, you need to go to settings, your system preferences, and you need to click security and privacy. And there's going to be a, under general, there's going to be a little notice here. Platinum, the Platinum GUI for Mac was blocked from opening because it is not from an identified developer. Now you want to click open anyway. So that's how you bypass it if you're downloading something from uh, anywhere from under other than the App Store. Um, yeah, so then this will pop up again. Do you want to download it? So hit open.
Okay. And again, this whole installation guider will come up again. Just want to keep hitting next. Yes, we want the defaults. Um, yeah. And so, yeah, just use the defaults. This will be in your applications folder on your Mac. So just hit install. So this will take a minute. Okay, great. Now SAP GUI should be installed. And to find where the application is, you want to open your finder. This is finder. And you want to go to your applications folder with this little A thing. And you're just going to have to scroll. There's going to be a folder called SAP clients. You want to open that. There's going to be SAP GUI. And there's going to be a button that you can click there called SAP GUI. And great, now that it works, now, uh, yeah, now it works. Okay, and now to set up your SAP, you wanna go to, uh, there's gonna be a list of cities, you wanna do Warsaw and it'll connect you. And just hit OK. Now your client ID is going to be 145. Yeah, or if there's something else given in the class, you can use that. Yeah, so once you've entered the user and password that's given to you, you want to hit enter and it'll log you in. And yeah, let's just see what is here. And yeah, now you're now you should be ready to go. It's if he's installed. Remember, it's in your applications folder. There's going to be a folder in your applications folder called SAP clients. That's where it is. So you can put down your desktop or something if you want easy access. So that is the video. And I hope you have no issues downloading it.